What's going on YouTube and welcome back to Vagabond Builds here at our channel and today we're going to be doing a review on a 2022 Hummer EV pickup truck edition one. Now the reason I said edition one and I emphasize this is because this is the cream of the crop. So we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and some specs about this car or this pickup truck, whatever you want to call it. But before we do, if you do like our content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, it really helps us out. If you got something for us to film, email right here below, email us, we can talk details later. And guys, remember, this is not a sponsored video, but we do want to thank GMC and Cadillac here at the Roseville Auto Mall for providing this beautiful Hummer. So guys, let's go ahead and start this review. So now let's talk Hummer EV Edition 1, guys, and we're gonna start off with this front end. This thing is sick, but the reason I'm starting off with the front end is because there's so much going on, not just the front end, but everywhere on this car. I just don't even know where to start from. But look at this front end, look, beautiful LED lighting, Hummer with the EV stamped right there, super cool. GMC stamp. Now, guys, remember, Hummer died in 2010. I wouldn't say died or just went out of production, came back banging in the 2022. As a GMC, now the manufacturer's GMC and the Hummer is kind of a sub model. So that's a pretty cool thing that we've seen. It's kind of like right back at you coming out on the market. Very cool. I, I love, I just want you guys to kind of breathe in the GMC Hummer. It is super cool how boxy, rugged, aggressive look. Sensors integrated into that lower front end. Now, these are your headlights. This isn't your headlight. This is your headlight. This is low beam and high beam. Super cool. Parking lights here with that LED look on the front end. Right behind the H, as you can see, that H shape letting you know that it's Hummer. We're gonna be seeing a lot of that around this pickup truck, but you will have the signal lighting and when you go ahead and plug in this, uh, this truck to charge, the signal lighting will be yellow in those little bars, but the charging lights will be blue. And the more you charge, the more that it will fill up. Kind of the rectangles will just add up, letting you know the level of charge that you're at just by the front end. Super cool. Loving how it's that nice, beautiful white color, with that black gloss around. Look at how this all comes together. 18 total cameras around this car. You got cameras in the front, cameras on the side, cameras in the back, cameras on top, cameras on the bottom. So it's just all over the place. Loving it, guys. Beautiful tow hooks, or if you want to claim it to be shackles. Now, guys, if you guys want to dump this car somewhere in Africa and you guys want to do some mission work, or you guys just want to go some off-roading and you got the money to drop this with a heli, do it. Hook up to these two and the two in the back, guys and just drop this bad boy in the middle of Africa. I don't know, like Zimbabwe or so. Is, is that in Africa? I have no idea. But guys, it is super cool. Being the edition one, we're gonna see some differences around the car. So front, side, back, and you have a skid plate. So edition one comes with the skid plate. So when you're doing the off-roading, don't worry that you ain't gonna be damaging that radiator or anything of that sort. And super strong metal look very cool that goes all the way to the bottom in that kind of matte silver look i love how this just hummer comes together with character some nice uh design into that front end uh wind coming into the radiators here and here but i want to show you guys something since we're in the front we're going to just start off with talking also about that front trunk the front let's go ahead and press hold that button a little bit and this pops open and look at the size of this front trunk. Now we left this uh, cover here uh, from the top of the driver's seat. Now you can take these covers off and we're gonna be showing you guys that in the video. But we wanted just to show you how big this Hummer front trunk is. Now you do have that beautiful ambient lighting inside. You have the HEV stamped on the back side of that front trunk with some hooks and if something happens like your kid gets stuck in the front trunk by the push of this safety button you can open that front trunk from the inside of this trunk now you got your typical 12 volt outler out, outler outlet so continuing forward with this beautiful hummer we're coming over to the side now get a load of this i just want you guys to take a look of what a good job they did honestly wasn't a really big fan of the h2s was a big fan of the H1s, but not so much of the H H2s or the smaller H3s, I believe, right? Uh, 
Look how beautiful this looks. Boxy, aggressive, off-road, squared off. Very cool look. So you're not going luxury, but you're going that off-road kind of Wrangler or Bronco look. But no, this have, has its own beautiful, rich, high-class style. So when you see this driving down the street, you're like, look at me, I got the money in the bank. But black gloss up top, trim, and continuing over to the wheels, these are 18 inch bicolor. So you have the, the black uh, in the center, I would say. And then you have that metallic silver coming around, HEV stamped on the rim. Now these are 35s, but you can have the option 37 like the militaries. So that's option that you uh, can keep in mind that you would, if you wanted to order something like that. Now, a little bit about the suspension. The Edition 1 comes standard air ride suspension. They are standalone air ride suspensions. What do I mean by that? That every suspension itself, so front right, front left, back right, back left, has its own mind, can be doing its own thing. These axles can extend. So this is a very like loaded suspension that you could be doing a lot with when you're off-road and getting also that super comfortable off-road feel inside the car. Coming over, three windshield wipers. Don't forget that, that is super cool with your camera. Look at those three little lights on top, the parking lights. That reminds me kind of like those semi-trucks when you're driving. It's kind of like, get out of my way because I'm about to run you off the road. They have that up top, super cool feel with that black gloss trim coming around. Black gloss trim on the side mirror, camera integrated here. Now, remember, camera, Fully loaded, you have heated, blind side assist, electrical, super cool. Just look at the side H with the Hummer stamped in that H, EV letting you know it's an EV vehicle. But I, something I forgot is, I wanna show you guys something that we're gonna be seeing little Hummers stamped around this pickup truck. And that is on the bottom left driver's side of the windshield glass. We're gonna be seeing that uh, in different places. These uh, step plates here, or these rock plates, what you want to call it, are Edition 1 standard. So you will see this on different models like the EV3X, the EV2X, and the EV2. You will be seeing different looks. Very cool off-road aggressive look. Continuing, check out this very nice how the, uh, the quarter panel and along with those front fenders kind of have that nice wide out off-road look that you see that some people try to get on their trucks but we love that gmc puts that in on this hummer continuing with that nice uh black trim all the way from the front over to the back this is super cool that they're just kind of bringing it together now something that is very special is this exact pickup truck can do this thing called the crab walk now what that means is this tire will turn in the same direction as your front tires and you can actually crab walk in a diagonal direction while driving this car or if you're off road. Now you have to put that setting from the inside of the car. We're gonna be talking about that a little bit later when we're inside the interior. And you could also have the same uh, or the opposite turning radius to where the tires will turn opposite direction of the front, helping you on that turning radius. And I believe they say that you get the turning radius of a Mini Cooper. Guys, awesome. Awesome. I mean, you can park this thing anywhere. Not exactly anywhere. Like, you can be in tunnels like the Italian job, if you know what I mean. But continuing on with this rear end, Hummer stamped EV. Something that's super cool that we see, because it's a GMC, we see that this has the multi-pro tailgate. Brake light integrated here in the shape of an H. So you're going to be seeing that all around the car, kind of that uh, theme Hummer letting you know that uh, they put that H everywhere, H on the rear tail lights, but they're just turned over vertically with your backup lights on the bottom side of that tail light. Very cool LED look with the black gloss around. Loving that rich look feel. Now let's go ahead and open the multi-pro tailgate. Now by the push of this electric button, you have a soft open tailgate. Now something that's super cool is by the button on the left-hand side of that electric button you can pop open a second part of this tailgate and you can push this button here and open this tailgate and use it as a step entering and closing but check this out by we're gonna pull open this cover pop up in this handle so if you do need to get into the truck in and out you have that handle for support 
or you don't want to use this tailgate for that exact thing and you just want to open up this part of the tailgate because maybe you have something longer like a two by four or things of that sort or maybe skis that are long i have no idea who that who tall that is or who's that tall but you could also use this kind of like you know a uh, tailgate maybe your tailgate party or doing things of that sort set your food here and things like that now this um bed is a five foot bed i'm going to use this five foot bed now let's go ahead and open this cover five foot bed and a h stamped right here in the middle of the bed very nice sprayed on liner and you see that there's two plates with four screws torques on each side right and left now this is access to your suspension so if you need to do any work on your suspension there is access so very cool back window is roll up and roll down electric it has a very nice speed to it it's fast it's quick cameras you have um lighting for your bed also from the inside of the truck black gloss spoiler and a black gloss top on that spoiler with those panoramic glasses very cool loving the feel of this hummer guys money in the bank what you want to drink i mean I got money i would totally go this i don't know that cyber truck they do have uh some competition coming but i'm having troubles with this cover i'll be right back so guys we're back got the cover on let's go ahead and pop this tailgate up and finishing off with this rear end look at that beautiful bumper shackle tow hook recovery tow hook so if you do get stuck somewhere from the front or the back you can get recovered bumper sensors integrated into that nice black gloss bumper parking reflectors gmc stamped letting you know that this is the manufacturer of gmc with the submodel of hummer camera lower part of that tailgate tow package toes up to 7,500 pounds with your plugins here for your trailer guys reliable gmc trucks with the american flag love to be an american so guys we're pretty much done with the exterior and the bed but let's go ahead and talk interior side of this hummer oh boy do we have so much to talk about inside man for the sake of the video we're going to try to keep the time short but coming in we see a nice beautiful metallic silver door sill plate with the two little h's on the right and the left and some dashes in the middle but letting you know that those h's i was talking about in the front and in the back very beautiful step plates or your side steps and guys check this out loving this rugged edgy box rectangle rectangle feel inside this truck so you're not going to get that luxury feel but you can tell that it is a high class feel so they didn't go cheap on the interior now there is no animal product on this interior so because of that they are able to texture all their um, liner perforated in the center of these seats this is electrical control seating on this driver's seat and passenger heated and ventilated loving how they stamped hummer ev in that kind of matte gold silverish look on that very cool just get a load of how rich and high class this seat does look loving it look at the dashboard beautiful squared off with the color schemes and loving the color schemes with the black and that kind of that white off cream matte with that matte gold slash silverish look with edition one stamp that's letting you know that you get the badges everywhere hummer ev stamped up top also now look at the vents the h vertical h on the vent right there with that nice beautiful kind of matte gold look loving that matte gold look because it's just such a nice high class rich look over here on the left hand side of the steering column everybody now you can pop the frunk or the front trunk parking brake you can drop all the glasses by one button check this out and it drops all four windows now i have these windows open but that is a super cool thing that you can do let's pop those up and you get your lane assist with your plug-in along with your bed light all right here door panel you get your memory setting with the window controls and your electric window i mean electric side mirrors nice very cool handle handle up here and handle up there so if you have an oh shiznit moment you're gonna get that hand you're gonna grab it and don't let it go look at this check this out so this is bringing back that 90s t-top or 70s or 80 uh 
GM, I would say muscle car T-top look. And I'm a huge fan of this because we don't see much of it. We see uh, certain other manufacturers that had them in the 90s, but I was a huge fan of this being a car enthusiast. Now you can remove this panel, you can remove the passenger panel, you can remove the both panels in the back, but the difference between the front and the back of the removing of these panels are that you can move this middle eye here piece by these four bolts, the two in the front right here and two in the back right there. And that will pop off giving you a full convertible feel, but you can't do that to the back. You can just remove the panoramic glass. Up top here in the center, you can control that black, that black back glass control right here, putting that window up and down. And you get your lighting right here to set it if you want them on the doors. Some reading ambient LED lighting, beautiful. And your live action feed rear view mirror and you can go into manual mode, super cool. So coming over to what's in front of you, steering wheel, Hummer EV stamped, typical controls, H Hummer stamped in that middle of that H EV with that kind of nice uh, gray trim, that black leather fuse feel stitch that does come heated steering with a nice cool little black uh, trinket with the trim kind of bringing over that trim over to the steering wheel. Continuing with that 12.3 inch digital cluster screen. Now you got all that going on there, miles per hour, compass on the left. Check that out, you have that kind of moon look. Now we're gonna be seeing that and I'm gonna point that out to you guys. Uh, speaker covers, the mats inside. Now the reason being is because they just kind of wanted to bring us a, a reminder that they had, um, they had some input on the design uh, with the Apollo 15 and the NASA astronauts. So that's why they're kind of bringing that design inside this car on the speaker cover and the front cluster on the mats. And you'll be seeing that thing or that pattern around. Now, uh, when I go ahead, I wanted to show you guys something from this cluster over to this 13.4 inch infotainment screen is we're gonna go ahead and change the modes. Now this is a really cool thing because GMC contracted with Epic Games. If you don't know who Epic Games is, it was the maker or the designer of that Fortnite game that went crazy and everybody loved it. So they put that and the, they are the ones who designed the interface uh, when you're switching between modes and check this out. Look at that. Every time off-road terrain, every time you're changing, it looks like that truck's going through a cyber truck. And look at that. When you're in tow and haul, you're literally towing a um, space shuttle. Check that out. Look at that. Super cool look. Normal. Loving how that uh, gives you a whole lot class, uh, not class, your um, high, high material or they put time and effort into this car is what I mean. Now, right under that 13.4 inch infotainment screen, you have controls for your uh, tri-climate controls. You can set, I have the cooled seats because it's kind of warm here in uh, Sacramento or Roseville. And you can control and sync your temperatures by the pushing of these little levers. I wanna show you guys something. So they maximize their button space and by the pushing of that seat, look, you open up the controls and you can turn on that heated seat or turn on that cooled seat and go ahead and click that and it comes back in. Sync AC and that do it also on where you want that air to flow. You can control feet, you can control face and all that cool stuff. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Let's actually take that off the face, put it towards the feet so we can get a quieter sound inside the car. Fan control, auto max rear and that good stuff. Right under that panel for your temperature, you have another panel where you can control hazards, your e-locking system for rear and both e-locker systems, front and back, and heated steering, traction control, parking sensors, with the nice little H on the horizontal uh, plane, giving you that Hummer reminder again, right in front of you, very cool rugged look. Pop that open, wireless charging pad, USB-C, USB-A hookup, very big wide cup holders. You know us Americans, we love our drinks. And this is where you're gonna be using a lot if you're off-roading is you can be in terrain mode. Let's go ahead and click this into terrain mode. We're gonna be in terrain mode and you can actually lift the height of this truck up to about 16 inches off the ground. So that is like more than Wrangler, more than Bronco. And by the pushing of this button, you have a little truck with an arrow that goes up and a truck that with the arrow right under it that goes down. And by the pushing of that button, 
you could go ahead and set that and that'll show you the height right here. Check that out. And we're gonna be in the ride height extract mode and that's gonna lift the car itself. You're gonna be hearing the car go up and entering, uh, putting air inside that suspension, getting you that maximized height. This is also where you would get the crab walk uh, for the truck. You would press and hold that crab walk and that will actually set it in to that crab walk um, uh, system to where you're going to be going diagonal on your drive. Very cool, loving it. Let's go ahead and put that back down. Go back into normal mode. Now, center console, you get a little bit of space for your phone and things of that sort. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Of course, tire sensors on the removable tray with some nice lighting, big box for uh, your personal belongings with a 12 volt outlet. So I don't see people fighting for plugins inside this pickup truck. Loving that GMC put in that nice uh, shift knob here. You have the button on the left with your parking button right on top. You would have to click that button and go into drive to initiate. And then if you wanted to just go into parking, you would just literally press that button, very convenient, goes into parking and I'm gonna put that parking brake on so guys, we're pretty much done with the front end. Now, I just want you to remember that if you're gonna be shooting out to uh, GMC and Cadillac of Roseville, um, you're going to spend some time here. You're going to spend some time right here on this infotainment screen with your maps. It does come uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto with Wi-Fi uh, integrated into uh, this pickup truck. But you're gonna be spending some time here with your trailering. You can check your cameras, your truck, things of that good sort. So guys, we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and enter the back side. Now being on the second row seating of this beautiful GMC Hummer EV, we see that the front design comes over to the back. Same, we do not see a simplified back row. Same uh, textured seating with that perforated middle uh, stitching. Now, something that we see coming over from the GMC trucks is these things right here. You can open up these little cubby spaces right behind your seats so you can place some tools back there or things or personal belongings. This seat also lifts up. It is flat. Now, check this out. Remember I told you about the patterns of the moon? Now, this would be called in specific terminology the Sea of Tranquility on the speaker covers and on the mats. That's what it's called. That's the terminology for it. Um, you do have a flat floor, so if you are putting boxes or tools in here, that pretty cool that you can fit a whole lot. Maybe you are going camping for the weekend, you can literally put some things down here and just sleep. This can be your literally camper also. So let's go ahead and put that seat back down. Armrest, cup holders, very nice. Big back cup holders, loving that. Ambient LED lighting, these do come removable. And check this out, how you would remove these panels are there's two handles on each panel. It's like that, and that is for the front and back. And you're gonna lift, and you can slide out. Super cool feel. I love this truck just because of that. Loving that, just, you just, it enhances the experience of the drive. Let's go ahead and close this. Now, this does come with a Bose integrated sound system. Remember that, I'm loving the premium auto, love my beat inside the car. The tri zone climate control on the back end of that center console, so you can control uh, the climate from back here. You also have heated back seats. Loving that manufacturers are doing that to a lot of the newer cars. You're getting heated back seats, and on certain cars, you also get cooled seats. Mode and things of that sort, USB, a USB-C plugins with some more personal space and there's texture or that design of that sea of tranquility on that mat inside that little cubby room. Personal pocket space. I'm about six feet, two inches. A lot of leg room, a lot of head room, loving it. So this is comfortable for us tall people. So guys, we're pretty much done with the interior side of this um, car or pickup truck, whatever you want to call it but let's go ahead and talk some specs. So let's talk some specs about this beautiful GMC Hummer EV. Comes with a whopping 1,000 horsepower, 11,500 foot-pounds of torque, 329 mile range about. Now remember that range will vary depending on what you're doing with this pickup truck. Guys, there is an option to hit watts to freedom, which gives you a zero to 60 in three 
about three seconds, which is insanely fast for the size of this pickup truck. MPG is 51 city, 43 highway, and a 47 combined. You have a super cruise that helps you self-drive assist. This comes with three motors. Edition one will come standard three motors, and you will see different uh, a, a number of motors in different packages. And also on the battery pack, 210 kilowatt double pack pouch style made in USC by GM wireless, which means communications have no wires and helps with manufacturers and repair processes. Guys, this is the cream of the crop with regards to the GMC Hummer. Loving it. Now guys, we're pretty much done with the review on this 2022 Hummer EV GMC. With the exterior, interior, and some specs, let us know what you think about this exact car. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Build. Stay tuned. We got some cool things coming.